Have you ever wondered what a dead coin looks like? Or how to look through coin market cap and find which low cap coin it's worth putting some money into? Let's take a look at that process and see where we get. What's up? Welcome to All Coin Picks. I'm Stefan. We're back again at making videos. And this is our website of this video, the coinagetimes.com. What I like about this website, it just is a one pager. There is there is a big need of one pagers out there where it's just straight to the point. It has a bunch of highlights of what's going on on crypto space. Some of these are gonna be redundant. But if you like something that you're just browsing through, you just click on it and you just read up a little bit more. What is there not to like about looking at news right away? Just one side, one page, the coinage times. You can scroll on it. Gives you even more, a list of more pages with even more details. I like it. It's news. If you're going to be in this space, trust me, you're going to get used to reading a lot. If not, you're going to be gambling a lot. And that's what we want, right? So the coinishtimes.com. Let's go now to our list of dead coins. So if you've been in the market for long enough, you're going to hear once in a while that you have found a dead coin. We're not talking about the coins that have pronounced themselves as scams and then people just delist them right away. We're talking about coins that the team has given up on them or the community has given up on them. And I found this link and it's a pretty extensive list of coins. And these coins, I actually haven't even heard of them. And the list goes on and on about coins that just, there is nothing to be said or heard about. And whoever invested in these coins just pretty much lost their money. But we're gonna be talking about mostly coins that actually had listed in coin market cap are still there and the different levels of what what I consider a dead coin and let's start with our first one so most of us are just always browsing on coin market cap we're trying to find that new coin but when do we see a dead coin sometimes you just look at that chart you just really get scared about like what happened with this coin so poly AI came out last year right at the end of the year did some good for whoever was on the ico but you can clearly see that as the market just went sour something must have definitely happened because it just flatlined we'll consider this a completely dead coin because for a coin that has been almost 20 dollars to reach now fractions of a penny this is just straight dead there's other examples of a dead coin, and this is just absolute dead. We're gonna go to another coin, and this coin I actually invested. This was a master node coin, Saga coin. It was such low cap at the time. We had we had gone in on the Saga coin when it was around one dollar, and it was a master node coin. It had such high rewards, and what happens is the market was so bullish, and Big Connect was i guess <laughs> found out as a scam on just about every masternode coin that was just in its fundamental a masternode that just pay you in coins just died and this is one of them there is a little bit of volume but this is so deceiving these are people that are just in high hopes waiting for the market to pick up again i don't usually like sitting in coins that have such low volume but there are out coins out there that have volume like this and they're far from dead but saga coin looking at how it was back then this is just dead to me you can you, you can't even see the volume you, there's so little change these are people that are just hoping that something is going to happen so this is another type of dead coin and then you have a coin such as b3 coin so b3 coin did a fork or I guess did a, a fork of a coin from B3 coin to key B3 coin. And at the time, one B3 coin was being staked to one sat. 
And because no one was being able to buy a coin for less than one cent because of because of volume, B3, the team decided to push it all thousand coins and try to sell that as one. And they killed their coin, which from the beginning already had issues. This is another type of coin that even when you look at the market cap, looks so, I guess, enticing for some folks out there because there is such a influx of cash flow for whoever can buy or sell but this is another form of dead coin i would stay away from coins like this a little bit of research you will find out that this coin is pretty much should just not even be around it has been delisted so many times i would just stay away but let's now take a look at how i would do some research to find a very low market cap coin that can yield some results so a good place to find a coin for those that are just looking for a small cap coin, I won't say Binance because Binance, all their coins in Binance are pretty much in the, in the way to top 100 or just about. But coins in KuCoin, they have, they have some weedy beat coins there. So what do I usually do when I'm looking for a small cap coin that I want to put a small investment? And remember, these investments can be as small as $100. And you, you'd be surprised what kind of return you can get from investing in a small coin. I often am on KuCoin doing research, but I'm going to just use the example of this coin called Jet8 as an example. This coin I have invested and I already cashed out, but... This is what I usually do. I look first on KuCoin. You can use another website as Buybox. You can use Cryptopia. But KuCoin is my favorite exchange for a small cap coin because it's easy for me to access to. I already have an account there. And when the market was crashing, coins like Jet8 suffered the most because when they were listed, there was no more interest in buying coins that were just out of ICO. And what happened during ICO? This is the part that is really interesting. If you look at the ICO drops, they were able to raise just about their entire, I guess, hard cap, almost all of it. And it's just amazing because they were, they were able to raise this so fast and then the market started to crash and no one wanted this anymore. And the time of the sale, the market was actually sour. So... Why would a coin like this, where people were paying four times the value that it is now, this coin was actually almost nine times below ICO value. And what is Jet8? You would just, if you're browsing through coins, obviously what the project is matters. So I came across Jet8 way, way back when I was doing some research on a, on a project called Current ICO which is a American project with a lot of potential. And one of their competitors was Jet8. The part that is scary about this, and this is just an example, is Jet8 is actually a very promising project that just their business model, the company that is trying to push Jet8 has a network reach of 400 million social accounts. So that's why that got sold out so fast. But what happened with Jet8 was just a market crash. So when I was looking at it, it had a decent amount of wallet holders. I always look at the amount of wallet holders. I always look at the time of ICO and I always look at what's going on that the price is so low. Do, are the holders leaving? This is one of the things I look at. I usually look at the top 100, the top 1,000, see how much they're holding and see if there is a lot of inside trading. And what I'll do after that is I'll look at their Telegram, see the amount of members, I'll see the amount of Twitter followers. Sometimes there's discrepancies in between the two. And then I will look at price and see if there is no movement. And this was the time that I made a small purchase. I did a lot of purchases just about two months ago. So most of those purchases have wheeled great returns. And you can clearly see that even after all the correction and that small little consolidation that we had just starting in the beginning of this week, we were still almost three times gains just in sats alone. But trust me, on USD value, 
if you look back at the time of the price on Jet 8, it was way significant. We can go open the list and figure out how much the price of Jet 8 was. And it was just crazy because now it's 7 million market cap. But when I was buying it, it was at 2 million market cap. For an ICO that had yielded $32 million to be sitting at $2 million, this was just setting itself up for some movement. So this is how I usually like, how I usually search for a low cap coin. How do you do your own research? Do you guys have a different approach? I would love to hear it in the comments below. If you guys like the way I do some research and to find the low cap coins, you guys please like and subscribe. Give me some input. I would love to have a different opinion about how you guys do your own research. This is just a really quick way that I look through coins. I normally get 10, maybe 15 of these in about an hour, put them aside, and then I go into much further detail. But this is usually a process that I do daily, and I just can't get sick and tired of this. This is just great. So what do you guys think? Just leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys next time.